Greetings, everyone. For the individuals who asked for an update on Kim, I'm going to say, you know where to find her. I'm sure she'll be the best person to give more recent update. But the video that was shared with me, I just want to do some talking points on this. First and foremost, I'm going to say that Alicia Kim is going to be okay. You all might not know this, but the energy that abides with her is one that shows her as an overcomer. The challenges she faced in America are just meant to make her stronger. Now, she's well-loved, believe it or not. And I hope you know this for the 10 that don't like you, 100 do. And a lot of women relate to Alicia because as women, we know what it's like to be involved in relationship with men and to come out of it in fear. Okay. So when Alicia got married to Boo, she married an illusion. A young girl married this older man thinking that she's going to be feeling safe. It's sort of a fantasy. A lot of young people have this fantasy of getting married and Prince Charming take you off and, you know, ride off into the sunset. But if truth be told, Boo offered her a lot of fake dreams. And though I don't know their personal story and I honor their marriage by saying that, you know, I'm not going to say too much, but if truth be told, and based on the little things that we hear, it's clear that he didn't tell her the whole truth and nothing but the truth. So she fell in love with an illusion. And so she goes to America. And let me tell you something. There's nothing like long distance romance to put the blinders on. Everybody's on their best behavior. Everybody's perfect. It's a perfect relationship. It's Mr. Charming. And Boo is an attractive man. And, you know, when you look at the wedding, Boo looked like a wealthy man. And come to find out that it was not so. So um, she bought uh, the story, um, you know, of who he was. And it seemed to have been a facade. And for a while, it just seemed like they are a great couple. You know, they had us laughing, but to be honest with you, it didn't take very long for the eyes that are open to see that this was not a match made in heaven. You know, um, not just the discrepancy in their age, but their interest. Um, I don't understand how uh, this older man would think that he could engage or keep this young lady interested in him when he is set in his own ways and that's not to speak ill of boo i'm sure he's a nice man but based on the stuff that she shares um you can tell that things got very sour and so this video in particular where she's saying she ran into somebody and it was an ex and it was very uncomfortable and i'm going to say here a lot of women can relate to that now if you are from Jamaica, the likelihood of you dating someone or getting married to someone older than you is very high. For the most part, most men marry younger women from way back then uh, until this day. And so it's not off-putting put, off that she would be married to this older man. Perhaps the difference in their age is why people have a, a raised eyebrow. And now things have gone sour and they seem to be going their way. I'm going to say to Kim, listen, you're a young lady and these experiences are meant to teach you to grow um, in your strength, you know, in your wisdom and all of that. You talk about regret, but there's no reason to regret. There's no reason to go back. Things that are meant to be are. We can't change um, destiny. And so you were meant to be the wife of Boo 
and you're meant to learn those life lessons and take them with you into the next relationship. You're not too young. Keep this in mind. In my field of my career, for example, a lot of the women that I knew were having children when they were in their 40s. They set their career, they established themselves financially, and they would have their first child at 40 and the next one at 42 and 45. As Caribbean people, or as black people, we're often thinking that as soon as we get married, we should have children. And so we don't plan for this. So what I'm saying to you is that you're okay. You're, you're going to be a mature woman when you have your first child. And don't let them trick you and tell you, you know, you have to do all these kind of tests because now you're high risk because you're 34, 35. It's not true. Because as I said, I see so many women who choose to have their children after their career is set and financially they're doing better. So there's no need to be fearful, no need to have regret for the choices that you made because if they were not made, you wouldn't be who you are now. So go with God and, you know, learn from your mistakes, of course, and be open. Ask the universe to bring you, to you a partnership, an equal partnership where you don't just love, but you can build together. And it is in the atmosphere. It is going to happen for you. Um, you're a beautiful girl. And there's a certain energy that abides with you that says, I am here to take you to that next part of your life. And the energy that abides with you, I can see it. I speak your name and I see the sort of blessings that come from just that. Okay. I have chastised you in the past because some of the pranks I did not like because I believe in self-fulfilling prophecy. I believe in opening your mouth and saying things and watch it happen. But it doesn't change the fact that it just wasn't meant to be, unfortunately. Uh, it meant to be in the sense that you were supposed to come together and you were supposed to be where you, you are now. So release the fear. But that doesn't mean you're not cautious because you see someone's face, but you don't see their heart. And a lot of men cannot handle rejection. And a lot of persons, when they sponsor people from Jamaica, they kind of feel like they own you or that you've done them wrong. And so, you know, learn from it and be cautious and do not share your location do not say too much about what you're doing because you never know. We live in a global community. It's a small world. Stay safe. Stay connected. Only share information with people that you trust. And remember, the internet is here. One minute, it will elevate you. The next minute, it will bring you down. Okay? This is an encouragement from an older mom to a younger young lady. And I'm telling you, you're going to be okay. Um, it doesn't matter what the story is, how they got together and why they broke up. It's none of my business. You will find your life's partner and you will produce offspring. And that union will be one where you both connect spiritually, emotionally, financially. Don't fear and it makes no sense to regret your past or decisions that you make you just learn from them okay for everyone who is here to wish her well remember we're women and we know what it's like to live in fear and to have these experiences when we decide that this is not working out for us that someone can really make our lives miserable it is not an indictment on her ex-husband or her current partner it's just the fact